David Barnson is with us, and I want to talk about this big tech rally, which has almost completely faded this morning. There was a lot of talk about big tech being a bubble. Is there any suggestion that, that, that it's about to burst, David? No, Stuart, I can't I can't do the it's about to burst thing, even though I definitely believe we're in bubble like valuations. And the reason is that about to burst requires me to time it and nobody can time this. I can only talk big picture and I think it's equally helpful. I actually think it's more helpful for investors who are doing the right thing. The big picture is this. Value and growth have performed in tandem with one another about 12 percent per year for 40 years. Over the last, let's call it eight years, growth has outperformed value, the big tech type stuff you're talking about, by 12% per year. So that disconnection between the two is totally unsustainable, just like value's huge outperformance of growth the last decade was. These things have to come back in line. They're going to come back in line. And because the NASDAQ's trading over 35 times earnings, I would probably guess they come back in line partially by tech coming down just as much as value coming up. It's going to be a combination of both, Stuart. All right. China uh, bringing in the most foreign investment more than any other country last year. What do you make of this? It, it seems like China's winning. What do you think? Well, I think we have to kind of get down to economics 101 and ask ourselves, what makes any country attract capital? OK, so your last segment, and it's one of the reasons, Stuart, I miss sitting next to you on set, because sometimes you were you could give a speech like you just gave and you could see my facial expressions and ask me, you know, what, what I'm talking about. They're talking about taxing capital. So the more you tax capital, the less of it you're going to have. That makes investing in our country less attractive. This is not rocket science. And so a country like China benefits from a, a very attractive labor cost, which is why people go there, because the labor is so much cheaper. Now trade is much more open over the last 20 years. So those things on a relative basis have been attractive. But the U.S. has been stuck, apart from the COVID moment, since the financial crisis, in 1% to 2% real economic growth. China's been getting 5 to 6% real economic growth. We have to get more economic growth to attract more foreign capital, period. Then we win. David Barnson, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Next time, I want to know a big name stock that pays me a growing and safe dividend. Next time, David. Okay, next time. I want that Deal. stock. <laughs>